What's up you guys, Josh here, also known as Harry Tornado. Today's video is gonna be a garage sale ride along. Haley and I went to three or four yard sales this past Saturday. It wasn't the best day for garage sales, but for the number of sales we were able to go to, we did find some really cool stuff. Also, I hit 3,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel last night, so I wanna celebrate that by doing another giveaway. So be sure to stick around to the end of this video to see how you can win. So I was looking at this helmet right here and the guy offered to sell it to me for five bucks but it had a bunch of scuffs and dents and stuff so I just wasn't interested in it. Okay. Let me see how, how far along we are on their other property. Okay. Like that, the okay. Which got on the trash can? About $3. $3 it is. Okay. I don't know if it's a trash can or an umbrella holder, but. Yes, it was a trash can. Take that helmet with you. Okay. Okay. Put it over here in a little pile. Do you know anybody, any young children that have a, a grandchildren outgrown us? Mm hmm. I mean, it ain't, it ain't a bad $20. Hmm. It ain't a bad. Ticket item. Yeah. Ma'am, are these yours over here? Fanny, the boots. Those are thirty-five. Brand new. Okay. Here I was scanning these two textbooks on Amazon. It turns out they would pay out about $9 each and they had a rank of about 400000 which I felt was pretty good and I believe the books were $2 a piece so I just decided to go ahead and take both of those. Okay. I usually pass on coffee mugs since they're such a pain to ship but this one had a really nice graphic from Bass Pro Shops and it was vintage from 1997. Surely there's something y'all can't live without. The cups are free, so just pick out one. Okay, thank you. And since they were free, I got two more. Hard knocks. 1987. So I've got two books and two cups. The cups are free, so that's four. Four, okay. You want a bag for your books? No, ma'am, this is fine. I appreciate it. I've got, oh. That's cool. Can I add this one in there? Yeah. How about I add this one and you just keep, um, just take five. So just, okay, that'll work. I'll give you, so I'll pay you a dollar for the three cups. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate Thank you. you. Can you open that and see what's in there? Just make sure it's in there. <laughs> Yeah, it's brand new. What we got on this? Oh, two dollars. That's fair. Table for chairs. Don't forget your other things. Yeah. Josh. Yeah. Hey, I'm Keith. Keith, nice to meet Good you. Good to meet you, man. Nice I to enjoy meet you. your channel. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. How'd you get that gross? What? The what? Why did you get that? The trash can? Yeah. That's cool. Buy me. I do need one. Harley Davidson. Does your Xbox One work? Yeah. Hmm. I think I've got two of them. No. It's 85 bucks. That's a good deal. 
Do you have any games that come with them? Oh, well, look over there. I can do a bundle deal here. Reducing. Oh, and it's got the connect with it. Does it have any controllers? I think I just thought about this Xbox buy a little too much and I, I just talked myself out of it, so I decided to pass. That control geek is that control geek stuff is so these control freak video game things were like extenders that would attach to the joysticks on video game controllers and if you watch closely you can see me put this one down right there set in a bag for the control yeah like those mm -hmm. uh tam i think did you just buy the pet carrier sorry sold yeah yeah I yeah I do five bucks each on those, but you know they go for fourteen to eighteen bucks a piece. So you just never use them. I'll do five bucks and they've never been used. Hey, that's a complicated map there. I'm gonna try to see if they'll give me a better deal if I buy all of them. I think we're ready. Um, I don't know. Alrighty. Ooh, the sun actually came out. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, um, this went in my sister's bucket. This is getting complicated. Okay. I know. So you got these two things, the bag and the game. Okay, so like a dollar a piece? Sure. And what did he say on these? Um, he said five each. Okay. Um, so five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Ah, so you know um, what you're getting. I, not really. I'm just kind of taking a chance on it. Um, there he is. I'll yeah, because like he was telling me this morning, don't sell those for $5 a piece. I can get 15 a piece for them on eBay. Five bucks a piece, I tell um, I was like, he knows what he knows it's worth it. So. I'm gonna drink this out. So, I think there's another one over there. Could you do 20 if I get all of them? It's it's five each, so it's 30. So it'd be just a bundle deal. Mm. Okay. She said a dollar each on these, so you're 22. Okay, cool. I got 21 and another 20 to get change for a 20. <laughs> or do you? Hold on. I'm sure she's got change. Okay. Unless you just want to take 21. Let's do 21, man. Okay. I appreciate it. No, you take care. Thanks, man. Y'all have a good one. Okay. Harry, right? Harry. Harry, Harry 20. Harry. <laughs> yes, sir. I used Thank to you. do some YouTube too, but I took it off there. Yeah. Um, you got to stop selling clips and stuff being in Columbia now. I know. Yeah. <laughs> See, Sweet. You too, man. What was Scott. your name? Scott. Yeah. Josh. And Harry Tornado. Haley. Haley. Yeah. Haley. I'm not doing it. Yeah. Good luck. Everybody. Thanks, man. Yeah. Okay. Well, let, let me I know that guy, but I think. Oh. Yeah. You look really familiar. I feel like I've played golf with you before at Lenrick, maybe. Well, it may have. What was your name? No, I, I used to be your insurance agent. I work with, for, I used to work. Okay, you bought you bought that golf club for me or the golf bag for me I one time. Did. I, it's around here somewhere. Maybe I'm, in the back of that white car right I'll there. buy it back from you. I'm just yeah. kidding. <laughs> he was one of my favorite clients because it's just so easy. He just doesn't complain <laughs> about anything. <laughs> well, he had a, he had a, a set of clubs that yep. I got from him for reasonable. He made money on them. Yeah. Remember that? It was the big bag of Callaway clubs. We, we bought all of them. You know, you're leaving? I'm a back it was up three or four oh, years good. ago. It was a yeah. long time. Yeah. I know. <sighs> but anyway, it was nice to see you again. It's nice seeing you guys yep. and meeting your beautiful you wife. Well. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> you all getting off free? Not yet. Mm -mm. Oh. Too expensive. You got that right. <laughs> <laughs> good to see you. You too. You too. Take care. Okay. All right. Bye. 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 
We didn't find anything at that last yard sale and there weren't any more sales that were close to us. So we decided to take a break to head to this little farmer's market and see our friends, Melissa mm -hmm. and Sean. Oh, look, there she is. Hello. How's it going? Uh, I'm excited. I'm excited, excited to try all of your delicious stuff today. Yeah. We're here before it sells out. <laughs> right, right. Y'all did good. You did good. So I'll give you the spiel. So in my pies, I have apple, coconut, fudge, pumpkin, and pecan. Okay. And for the little cakes, I have apple cider, an apple cider donut cake, caramel, pumpkin spice, and it has a cinnamon cream cheese glaze and a s'mores. How's it going? Good. Mm -hmm. And I have him turned around, you can see. Him turned I want one of each. Of yeah. I know you were joking when you said one of each, but... Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what chai tea is. What is chai tea? Let me know if you Best have any tea you've questions. Ever had in your life. Better, Better than regular old really? sweet tea? That's not regular. I have an apple, so I can take a look at them there. Okay. And then for the pies, I have... It's pretty good. It's like an apple. It's, you know, obviously we were hoping yeah, for colder but no. weather. Mm -hmm. But, but I do have a chai like tea an apple that's cinnamon. similar. Mm -hmm. And uh, we got regular sweet tea, regular unsweetened, and then we have unsweetened okay, chai tea. This is the sweetened mm. version. Mm. It tastes, I mean, it's good. Because, like, it, right, I don't like hot good. drinks like that, like yeah. apple cider, but that's <laughs> kind of refreshing. Right. And it tastes like it would go well with a okay, cake. I have, I have one. Let's do, yeah. we'll get one of those, and I'll do a regular yeah. sweet tea, too. Okay, I'm thinking... I'm feeling cakes more than pies. That's me just too. me personally. Me too. Me too. Um, but I was also looking at the cakes, and I want all four of them because I, I have a little cake side. The s'mores looks absolutely delicious. So Thank you. Mm -hmm. There's lids and straws. Do you want a regular sweet cake? Yeah. Mm. It's about half. About half ice. No, just the regular fun. Yeah. Okay. I'm thinking maybe. So so if we get if we get four cakes and two drinks, that's an even twenty bucks. And that way I won't have. Yeah. That way. We can support our friends and not have to worry about carrying around a bunch of ones. Thank you. No, we don't right. need four cakes, and we're going to eat all four cakes. <laughs> and we can eat one cake now, and then wait like 30 minutes, and then eat the second cake, so we don't feel as bad. I want to split all of them because I want to try all. Yeah. We can eat. <laughs> but that. that would... <laughs> hmm. That really, can't, yes. We can't it's choose. It's like right. the Pokemon. Got yeah. The Pokemon. Got to get them all. <laughs> okay, yeah. We'll do we'll do one of each. And that's so one of each of the cakes. Yeah. Okay. Chai tea gonna, is what, delicious. Isn't it so good? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, so refreshing. Morning. All right, let's get out of the way so yeah. I can sell some more stuff. <laughs> Thank y'all so much. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. All. Have a great afternoon. See ya. So I know that was a long little segment there at the farmer's market, but Sean and Melissa are great friends of ours. And I think it's important that if you have friends that have small businesses, you should do anything you can to support them. Giving them a little cameo shout out in one of my YouTube videos is super easy for me to do. And hopefully it's a good way to help grow their business. Both wonderful people and Melissa is a world class baker. That, that pumpkin spice cake we had was... It was off the charts, man. That th that was top three desserts I've ever had in my life. So if you guys want to support her, since she doesn't sell her stuff online yet, the best way you can support her is just go follow them on Instagram at Honey Bee Bakery. I'll put the little thing here and I'll link their Instagram profile in my description of this video. So thank you guys so much for supporting them. I really, really appreciate it. I know it takes you know a minute or two to go over there, but I'd really appreciate any love you can go show them. So, and also comment on one of her posts and say, please sell online. Cause I'm telling her if she, if they, if they could figure out a way to sell this stuff online and mail it to you guys, uh, it would be selling like hotcakes. No, no pun intended. <laughs> so getting right into the haul here, that first sale, this is the helmet I was looking at. I didn't want to put the video of me looking at it. Cause I was, it was just, the camera was just looking at my toes the whole time. Uh, and you guys don't want to see that. So <laughs> this was the helmet I found. It was a it's a Marushin. I looked up comps and in good condition, these seem to be selling for like $30 to $60 or so. Um, but this one has like a bunch of little chips and stuff like that. So I don't know. I might auction it off for starting at 99 cents to see if anybody even wants it. Um, but I don't know. Again, he just threw it in for free. So not really, a, not a big deal. And this is the trash can that Haley questioned my, uh, my purchase on. Um, I just thought it was pretty cool. It's just a metal... Atlanta Falcons trash can printed on both sides and I paid three bucks for it. So it'll be pretty difficult to ship. I might list it locally and see what happens, but um, 
I don't know, three bucks, thought was a thought was a pretty good deal. I did buy those two anatomy books, but I've already sent those to Amazon. Um, you know, like I said, I just scanned them and they were bringing about $9 after fees, paid $2 for them, so made 14 bucks with those two books. And they've got a pretty decent rank. Then she had those coffee cups that were all free. This is the Bass Pro Shops one I found. Again, really, really nice graphic on there. And uh, hopefully you can see, there you go, 1997 uh, graphic. Nice deer, ducks, fish. Really, really cool cup. And it's got a little Bass Pro thing on the inside too. I'm not sure exactly how much this is worth, but I might list it for 20 bucks plus shipping, turn on offer and just see what happens. A couple of you have asked me how I ship mugs in a padded flat rate envelope, because I've talked about that before. And I'll just uh, go ahead and show you real fast. So this company makes these boxes. These are called the Scotty Stuffer. I have no idea if you can see it. It's printed on the package, but they're called the Scotty Stuffers. These boxes are made to perfectly fit inside of a padded flat rate envelope once it's sealed. So basically with the mug, I, I don't have any bubble wrap right now. It's coming today in the mail. But basically you just bubble wrap this, you know, maybe three or four times, and then you just put it in this box. Again, you could add some more bubble wrap or void fill to this box just to make it not, you know, wiggle around as much. But the box just adds a little bit of extra protection. So when you put it inside the padded flat rate envelope, it's, uh, in my opinion, it is secure enough to be shipped. Coffee mug inside of the padded flat rate envelope. So. You know, it doesn't work for every single coffee mug out there. You know, like the big ones from Starbucks, the 20 ounce ones may not fit in there or ones that are very wide may not fit in there. But I'd say for 85 to 90% of coffee mugs you want to sell, they can fit inside this box, inside this pad of flight right envelope. So that's how I do that. The other coffee mug was uh, property of Alcatraz Federal Penitentiary and Hard Knocks Cafe. Again, it was free. I might get, you know, eight, 10 bucks for it plus shipping. And then the other one, this one's cool. I have not looked up comps on this, but this is a chrome colored Walt Disney World Epcot Center mug. Really nice and really good condition. I mean, some fingerprint smudges, but uh, no chips or cracks or anything. And uh, there's no date, so I don't know what year it was made, but um, you know, maybe 12 to $15 plus shipping. We'll see. And then the last thing we got at that first sale is this Willow Tree figurine. I don't want to take it out because it's too hard to get back in. But it looks like that. It's just some girl holding a happy birthday wire balloon thing. These things are fairly collectible. On Amazon, this was gonna net about $11, I think, but I think I can get a little bit more profit from this selling it on eBay. So I'm gonna list this on eBay for about 20 bucks, maybe free shipping, and uh, maybe afterwards walk away with about 13 to $14 or so. And I paid two bucks for this. And then that last sale we went to, the first thing I found was this no hitter uh, vintage sports game still in the box. This is from 1999, so I thought it was gonna be worth a lot of money. Um, you know, Radica games do fairly well on Amazon, but on Amazon, this was only bringing like eight bucks profit. On eBay, it was even less. I paid a dollar for this and I'll be lucky to make like eight to $10 on it. It just it was one of those things I thought was gonna be really good and turns out it's not. This Harley Davidson bag was probably the best find of the day. Um, you know, it's, it's in really good condition. It's got the Harley tag on the inside. It's got backpack straps on the back. Um, this front little decal does have some scratches on it, but don't think that's a huge deal. I only paid a dollar for this bag, which was really surprising for me, um, but I think I could probably get about 40 to 50 for it plus shipping. You saw that sale had the Xbox One for sale. He was only asking 85 bucks, but like I said, I just, I think I just talked myself out of it. I didn't want to put up that much capital. I, I could have probably made, you know, about 40, maybe 50 bucks on that if I paired it with the right games, but I just, uh, I just, I just decided against it. However, I did pick up these video game uh, controller extender things. I bought six of these and I've already sent three of them to Amazon. Um, but basically that, that one in the video that I put back in the beginning, I, I guess I just wasn't focused. Like I put it back on the shelf and I had every intention of getting it, but I just overlooked it. And when I was scanning them later on, I didn't scan them at the yard sale, but when I was scanning them later on, I found out that that one in the big, the, those orange ones in the big box that I showed in the video earlier, those were bringing like 35 bucks after fees on Amazon. So really sucks that I didn't grab that one because that was an extra 35 bucks, but I did get one of the big ones for, you know, bring me about 35 on Amazon. And I got five of these, two of them went to Amazon and these three are going to be sold on eBay just because, you know, the packaging is a little torn up on the sides and I just didn't want to risk it um, selling it on Amazon. So um, I'll probably put all three of these up on eBay separately for like 15 bucks plus shipping and uh, let's see what happens. So there you have it guys, that's the yard sale haul from this past weekend. Again, it wasn't the best, but getting this late in the garage sale season, this late in the year in general, I'm still surprised that there are even garage sales still out in my area. So we had fun, we made a little bit of money, we met some friends, had delicious treats and, and sweets, 
and uh, overall it was a very very good weekend so now I get to talk about the giveaway now the person that won the 2,000 subscriber giveaway never responded to my comment on on their comment so I'm gonna be giving away that prize in this video as well so two things being given away so to win the first one which was two hours of my time this could be four 30-minute Skype sessions or just a two-hour phone call or, or whatever just two hours of my time working on whatever you need me to do. To win that prize, all you need to do is drop a comment on this video. You can say whatever you want. I'll just be picking a random winner from the comments. Let's say I'll pick the winner this Friday morning. So as long as you've commented on this video by Friday morning, let's say 9 a.m. Eastern, um, you will have a chance to win that prize. For the second prize, I'm gonna try to make this one a little bit more interesting, a little bit more difficult for you, I'm so sorry but I wanna tie in my friends Sean and Melissa as well to give you a better incentive to go follow them on Instagram. So to win that prize, which will be, let's say the same thing, I'll give you another two hours of my time. So if somebody were to win both prizes, they would have me for four hours. But to win that prize, you'll need to go follow them on Instagram at The Honey Bee Bakery and drop a comment on their latest post that says, Harry Tornado sent me or something like that. Just something that shows that you came from YouTube. And I'll give that contest until Friday morning at 9 a.m. as well. So Friday morning, 9 a.m., I'll go check their Instagram and we'll figure out a way to do a random drawing of all of you that have you know, followed their page and dropped a comment. So I really appreciate you guys. Thank you. I know the second giveaway is kind of a lot of work, but again, I'm just uh, doing everything I can to support friends in their small businesses. We all have small businesses. You know, if you're watching this, you probably have a small business. So you know how, uh, how, it, how, how important it is to support people in similar situations. So thank you guys so much for watching. You're the best. Good luck in the contest, and I'll see you guys on the next one.